Good morning, folks. Let's get right to the notable quakes. The last four times big quakes have hit this far offshore, a big one has followed near the coast. A large tremor occurred south of Australia, a big one also on the Atlantic Ridge. How bad does a thunderstorm have to be to make RSOE? Well, hail, crushing houses, six dead in Bangladesh, more damage and death in China from hail, lightning, flooding, and landslides. Speaking of hail, if you live in the U.S., you should get used to watching the weather. Someone not sweating the weather is the plants. Apparently, they adapt a lot better to climate change than we thought. Speaking of knowledge being wrong, I honestly don't know if smaller, more frequent eruptions are good or bad when it comes to Yellowstone. Having a look at the solar wind, the yellow and the orange is the speed and density, respectively. You can see a marked rise in both over the last half day. The same thing is visible here on the SOHO readings of solar wind. There is no major space weather, but the Fluxgate magnetometer is beginning to show disturbance on that solar wind change. The background variance here inducted can't seem to pick a resonance and stay there. The electron count has been high for days, but is now plummeting, and even the Bartol monitors are showing more intensity in the last few hours. Charged particle bombardment is elevated slightly this morning as seen on the Ovation Prime. Having a look at the northern solar disk, Tiny CMEs flew off the sides yesterday, but nothing major up here except the massive coronal hole, now swinging around for round three with Earth. The south has been more interesting by double this week. South pole coronal hole creeping up, lots of magnetic filaments, and bright active regions. NOAA has labeled 11469 Beta Gamma. Now that was 10 hours ago, and since then it has actually lost some of the complexity and is actually less dangerous, but still Beta Gamma. The Earth footprint isn't too far away over there, so we'll have to keep an eye on the southwestern limb. Now, because Mr. Dave J420 will have a conniption if I don't show this spot, it is still big, still magnetically simple, no danger yet. The moon is visible for a large portion of the day, but when the sun goes down, it reveals Mars and Saturn at her sides. She's moving towards Saturn as she moves into a full moon position, but not any ordinary full moon. This Saturday, the moon will be closest to Earth it will get all year. It will be a beautiful sight to kick off our quake watch. That's the news, folks. Eyes open. Be safe.